Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be multiplying a four digit number by a one digit number. Okay, let's get straight into it. What I recommend doing at this point is pausing the video and writing these calculations down, maybe even having a go at them first and then checking your working against mine. Okay, so here's our three examples then. So we're going to start with 1,602 multiplied by four. So essentially what we're trying to do is make 1,602 four times larger. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set this up in the short division method, and then we'll have a go at the next few examples as well. So I'm just going to pop in some place value headings so we can really clearly see exactly what it is that we're doing today. So I've got my thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. And then I'm going to write in my number that I'm going to be multiplying and then the number that I'm multiplying by. And then we'll need our answer sign just at the bottom there. So I'm going to go from the ones digit, multiplying each one by four as we go along. And then we'll write my answer in the answer place at the bottom. So two multiplied by four is eight. And then I move on to the tens number. So nothing multiplied by four is nothing. And then six multiplied by four or 600 multiplied by four is 24. But that is actually 2,400 if you can see from your place value headings there. And then one times four is four add the two that I've carried over at the bottom to make three or 3,000. So the number that I end up with is 3,408. Okay then, so the same thing for my next example that we've got here. So 3,524 multiplied by five. And if you want to, if you're following along, then put your place value headings if you feel like it will help you. So I'm going to write in my number, 3,524 multiplied by five. There we go. And my answer sign in there. Fantastic, my huge equal sign, there we go. And we're going to start over from the ones digit again. So five multiplied by four is 20. So when I'm carrying it over, put my unit down and carry over my tens digit there. Two, five, so in my tens column now. So two times five is 10, but not forgetting to add my carry in there is 12. There we go. And passing that on underneath my hundreds column. So I've really carried over a hundred there. So five multiplied by five or 500 multiplied by five. So I've got 2,500, but we make it easy for ourselves by just making it five times five, which is 25, not forgetting the one that we've got underneath there, which is 26, so 2,600. And then finally for this one, I've got 3,000 multiplied by five. So three times five, just to make it easy for ourselves, which is 15, but not forgetting to add on my extra two or 2,000 down there. So that makes 17 or 17,000. So that gives me an answer of 17,620. Let's get going with this example then. So 6,982, 982 multiplied by seven. There we go. And we'll get our equal sign in there, our nice answer sign. And essentially, we'll be doing the same things we've done on the first two examples. So starting over from our ones digit, multiplying each one by seven as we go along. So two sevens are 14. So as before, I put my unit down and carry that 10 over. Eight sevens are 56. Add the one that we've got there for 57. There we go. So, so far you can see I've got 574. 9 times 7, or 900 times 7, so we've got 63, which is really 6,300 if you think about your columns. But we make it easy for ourselves and make it 63. Add the 5 is 68. 
There we go. And six sevens are 42, or 6,000 times seven is 42,000. So if we have a look at this, then we can make it six times seven, like we normally do, which is 42. Add the six to make 48, or 48,000, which gives me an answer of 48,874. If this video has helped you today, then please consider checking out my other videos, maybe leave a comment for any that you'd like me to do in future, and also maybe a little subscribe as well. Until next time guys, goodbye.